All right, this is third grade, module six, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are going to be taking data, making graphs. And then once they've got those graphs, students are going to be answering a variety of uh, questions uh, that they're going to answer based on either the tally marks that they've originally been given or uh, by reading that graph and then answering the question by reading the graph. All right, so let's get started on this. So here, Maria counts the coins in her piggy bank and records the results in the tally chart below. And use this tally, use the tally marks to find the total number of each coin. So remember, the idea is we want our students to be able to count by fives. Uh, so uh, because we definitely don't want them counting all those individual tally marks, right? So for this first category of coin, I think it's the penny. Oh, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, plus 3 more gives us 68. Now, you'll notice I counted by 5s. I could have counted by 10s, if you really think about it. I could have put these two together right here and have that be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then here's 5, so that's 65 plus 3 more is 68. <clears throat> really, that's probably more efficient, but parents and teachers, let your students count whichever way they want. Let's count the nickels here. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then put these two together. That makes 60 plus two more gives us 62. And then, uh, let's see, we've got right here, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and then these two make 50, plus this is five, so that's 55, plus two more is 57. So we can label that 57, and those were dimes. And then lastly, our quarters right here, and we've got, let's see, 5, uh, five 10, 15, 20, plus 4 more gives us 24. Now I'm going to zoom out here to make life a little bit better for us. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look, and we're supposed to um, use that tally chart to graph our table down here. Now here's the tricky thing. You'll notice down here at the bottom we've got coins and we've got pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters and of course that matches. You'll notice the title is the same. Coin in Maria's, coins in Maria's piggy bank. Coins in Maria's piggy bank. Now here's our number of coins and you'll notice they've started us off by counting by tens. So the idea is we need to Continue counting by 10, so that's going to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and all the way to the top gives us 80. And I'm going to zoom back down here. There we go. Okay, and so now we're going to make that table, uh, or the graphs, but they're not going to be perfectly along the lines because these are going up by tens, and none of these are going, uh, are exactly ten. So 68, 68 pennies, what is that going to look like? And uh, let's do it in blue. So that's going to be, well, there's ten, there's twenty, there's thirty, forty, fifty, 60. Now we can't do a complete another box. We're going to have to estimate and it's going to be most of the way and that is our pennies right there. In fact if I wanted to color it in it would look like that. There's our 68 pennies. Now for our nickels we have 62 uh, nickels. So let's do that. So 62 nickels. So that's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60, and now we have 62. We have two to go. So that's going to be less than half of that box. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze it in there. And now we can color it in. There's our 62. Now because these aren't exact, I'm going to label this just so I don't have to remember this again. And then this is 62. Now for 57, what is 57 going to look like? Well, that's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, there's 50, and then 57. So 7 is going to be almost to the top, but not quite. And we can color that in. There's our 57. And lastly, 24 quarters. So we've got 10, 20, and then for the 4, it's going to be almost half, but not quite. There's our half. I could probably have done that a little bit better, but that's okay. So there's our 24. So if I wanted to label that, that would be 24. And by the way, this would have been 57. So now if we want to answer some questions, we could say, well, how many more pennies than dimes? So what are we going to do if we wanted to know how many more pennies than dimes? Well, here's our pennies, here's our dimes. We're going to have to do some subtraction. So that's going to be 68 minus 57, and that gives us 11 more pennies than dimes. And lastly, Maria donates 10 of each type of coin to charity. How many total coins does she have left um, uh, to show? Now we got to show our work, right? So now the idea would be, if she gave away 10 of each of these coins, uh, you could just chop off a, a block down here, but then you would still have to count. So I like the idea of just saying, well, she gave away 10 coins, so now we're going to have 58 pennies, 52 coins, I mean uh, nickels, 47 dimes, and 14 quarters, and now we're going to have to add those together, and that is how we will figure out how many coins, total coins, she will have left over. And the last slide for this video. Uh, Mrs. Holloman's class goes on a field trip to the planetarium with Mr. Fiore's class. So these kids and these kids go on a field trip to the planetarium. Love the planetarium. The number of students in each class is shown. So you got some boys, you got some girls, you got some boys, you got some girls. Um, hey, there's more girls in both classes. Interesting. Uh, so first off, we, we also need to notice that, hey, look, each box, each block represents two students. So how many fewer boys are on the trip than girls? Well, first, let's take a look at the boys. So if we think about the boys, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and that's a half a box. So that's only one kid. So that's 13 boys in Holloman's class and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 boys in Fiore's class. So we have 27 boys. Um, and now we have to do the, count the girls. So count the girls. So the girls is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, plus 1 right here. So that's 17 girls in Holloman's class. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, plus 1. So that's 15 girls in Fiore's class. And we're going to add, and we get 32. Now it says how many fewer boys are on the trip than girls. So if you've got 27 boys and we have 30, 32 girls, to go from 27 to 32 is 5. So there are five fewer boys than girls. And I'm going to leave the rest of these questions for you to solve on your own. I think the key is knowing how to read this table in the first place. The key is recognizing that each block represents two students, and a half a block, like here or here, represents only one student. And that wraps up 
third grade, module six, lesson four. Students are creating graphs and then using those graphs to solve problems.